this is Kyle from WeTech Careview. I hope everyone's well. For today's video, we're going to look at a do until in Power Automate Flow. Now, for this example, what I've got, I've got a SharePoint list here. I've got a record in there which says order the pizza. And then I've got a status field here which says it's currently set and not ordered. Now, what I'm going to do for this example is we're going to do a do until within Power Automate Flow. And every one minute, it's just going to check this record and it's just going to keep sending email reminders every minute until this status is set to ordered and then it will end the flow so it will do until that ends so let's just get straight into so as you can see we've got our sharepoint list here i'm going to now go to power automate flow i'm just going to create a new flow instant from cloud and we'll just manually trigger that flow uh, so i'm going to add a step in here so i recommend to do a variable which acts as your boolean to to turn off the, the do until you'll you'll see what I mean in a second. I'll just call this do until loop bar. And we'll just have that as a Boolean. And what we will do is we'll set that value to false by default. So there's our variable. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the do until step. This is the do until control. And then I'm going to set the value. So do until the loop var is equal to true. So again, we've set this variable to false. This is gonna keep doing until this variable is set to true. So as it says it's false, it'll keep going around. When we set that to true, when it next checks it, it'll stop. So in the, as you can see here as well, in these limits, what you've got is you've got a count and you've got a timeout. Now for the count, uh, this is how many times it will keep going around the loop. So again, as I said, we're going to send an email reminder for me to order the pizza. This will go around the loop 60 times. Um, and that's how many it will do until it completes. You can set this to a larger number, obviously, if you wanted to keep rotating. Uh, relating to this timeout as well, this is how it, when you wanted to timeout. So for example, you know, if it's in a, if it's in a loop, um, it's gone longer than one hour that we can see, which is set here it'll time out and the flow will end. So what I'm now gonna do in this is I'm going to add a delay. So this is how, this is just so, I mean, again, with this delay, because I'm gonna send the automated email towards the pizza, I'm gonna set this to do it every 60 minutes. So every 60 minutes, it'll delay, it'll run through the steps, go back up to check the do until status. If that's nothing's changed, we'll keep going through those steps. So I'm just gonna put this to do as one minute because, um, for this example, you can see the emails are sending every minute, and then we make the change, it'll stop. Um, so now I'm just going to add an action here, which is get item. So I'm going to look up the item that we've got set to order the pizza. So do until, and the ID for that was one. Yep. So it's going to get the item, and then we are going to do a condition and in this we are going to so in the get item if the status value is equal to ordered and set variable then we're going to set the variable if it's not being ordered, we're going to send an email to order the pizza. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going to put the subject as order the pizza, Kyle. And body as well, and then save that. Again, I'll just quickly run through what's going on here. Until the variable is set to true, it'll run through these steps. It's going to wait for one minute. It's going to get the item from this list to check the status. If the status is not set to ordered, it's going to send an email to say, order the pizza, Kyle. Once I've ordered the pizza, I'll come in here. I can set the status to ordered, and then that will set the variable to true. When that loops back around and the variable is set to true, it'll end the flow. And it'll stop the do until loop so if we can just turn this on now and we'll just run it so as we've got this is set to not ordered let's just test this manually okay i'm going to pause the video for one minute and then 
I assume I'll receive the email, so we'll come back when it's sent. Okay, so now you can see that the first email has been sent, so order the pizza, Kyle. So that was after one minute of starting the flow. Um, so now if I just come back to the flow, we can see it's still in the thing here. So now if I just set this to ordered, so let's say I've received the email alert, I've gone off, I've ordered the pizza, I'll now set this to ordered, and then... And then this should now, after the one minute, it'll go round again. After the one minute, it'll go round again. And then it should set that variable to false and the flow should end. Okay, so now I've come back and you can see that I'd set the status to ordered. And now you can see the flow has run successfully. So here you can see, you know, we did the get item. Uh, the status value was not ordered. It ran through the do until again. It was still set to not ordered and then when it got to the third one and it's set to ordered the do until ended and the flow ended i hope this video helps someone you know i, I would have needed this help some at some point when i was trying to do this with the flows please just put any comments in the the channel if you, if you need any help with anything or if you advise any videos or anything else that you want to show and then um, take care thank you